What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to uh, the Apothecary Diaries, this time with the final episode of Season 1. Um, very important I say Season 1 because I have seen the news already that there is confirmed to be a Season 2, which is fantastic news. Um, I think there's quite a bit of source material, so great that they could announce that straight away. You guys know I love this show a lot. For me, I think that I, I did prefer this for a long while to Free Arena. I, they're both around the same level, honestly, but it really does just like... Some weeks I prefer Free Around, sometimes some weeks I prefer Polar Carry Diaries. That's just how close these two shows are. To me, anyway. Uh, the popularity obviously speaks for itself, but again, for me, I, I, I just absolutely love this show. Amazing episode last week looking at Lacan, his backstory as well as Mao Mao's mother. Very much shed some light on uh, a lot of interesting things that have been open up throughout the uh this second half especially and thank you guys for the comment section as well for helping me out with a few things that i didn't get during the episode um i think i said it's a 2025 for season two so not even that long away luckily at most uh a year and a half i think Hopefully it has the same level of production as well, because, again, everything about this show is just amazing. Again, it's just, it rivals Free Run with that. Just everything about Free Run is, like, story animation is amazing. Same with this show. Even though it doesn't have the fight scenes, for, for example, it's still, like, animation, story, characters, just everything top tier. They're very different, but I see them as very similar shows, honestly. Again, it's a big shame that they're going to be... Like we're finishing them all off now. <laughs> Trust the dad to but notice that. Oh, here's the old lady. I think he already knows which one. But I love how they do these characters as well with the the pieces on their face. Everything from Lacan's perspective in these last couple episodes. Very disorientating, but like it's it's just very well done. How can he even judge these? <laughs> By the size of their boobs, I guess. Yep. <laughs> oh, so he's just gonna. I, I was expecting him to buy out um, the mother of his child, honestly. But you haven't taken his hand. Yes. So this is what I was expecting slash hoping. And they'll figure it's running. He broke his monocle. Ah, oh, you know what? It's blue. Damn. I didn't even realize that. That fits beautifully. Wow. Again, I was hoping you. I was hoping you'd do this anyway. <laughs> was he not going to?
through all this time. You can still see her head as well. Oh, now we're getting their faces. <clears throat> Some animes like this pretty much witnessed the whole thing. Man, let's start out with this. Jesus. Oh, yeah, the episode's name is Jinchi and Mau Mau. Do you know what? That's a lovely wrap up of that, though. That was lovely. Oh. These guys. That was a, that was a lovely starting segment, wasn't that? Holy shit! It's again, so I was hoping would happen. I didn't understand that Mama was sending that message though. Genius, right there. <laughs> Here we go. That was a pretty strange way of phrasing that, wasn't it?
<laughs> well, obviously. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. A stud horse. Eventually. A very old old style today, Mau Mau. Telling, telling these people they're young'uns. Yeah, I think that's good advice. Oh, isn't that cute? True, true though. No, well, is it true? Like, not, not always. There's always exceptions. No. In most cases. Again, it's just a bit of a stupid, thoughtless period for uh for Lacan. Understandably so as well because he was studying abroad. There's not much you could do about that. But it still was thoughtless. Sorry guys, I've got like a bit of food in my teeth. Damn it in this OST again. I love this OST. I love a lot of the OSTs from this series. I don't know the lyrics, but I don't know about you, but sometimes you can just kind of like feel what the lyrics mean. <laughs> sometimes. That was amazing.
Oh shit. Good catch. That was amazing, that. That was a, that was beautiful, that was. That was beautiful. I hope he saw a bit of that. It was awfully close. <laughs> it was awfully close. You danced beautifully. That was very smooth. Ah, must have paid a lot. He must have paid a lot. Not that it matters to him at all. Which is good for business. Yeah. <laughs> good for business. I mean, it's kind of true. <clears throat> Good. You can go on resenting that for the rest of your life, a lot of people do. Really? Um, hopefully you won't try that anytime soon. Man, her leg really is. Oh, that really was such a deep wound. She's still got that on, and is still doing that. But yeah, probably a pretty bad idea to be dancing. The. <laughs> Oh, this happened before. We've already done it once. Not that she was conscious. Yeah. This is definitely not what we want to hear that she's got to say here, is it? Is it? Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Little rat. I mean, she was promised conversation, I'm pretty sure. A while back. That's what she, she said earlier. Women are pretty sneaky sometimes. That was a brilliant scene there, though. Okay. So one minute and a half left. <laughs> oh, she did get it. All right, now we've seen those before. Or is that what? Uh, I think that's what she was speaking about. We've seen something similar to that before, though. That cute little baby. So we've got a little tease for the next season here, have we? Yeah. Sound like you're not interested. We know you are. Good. Good. I, I like to hear that. Yep, there is season two production confirmed. Let's go. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, brilliant fine episode here. I think the standout for me, obviously, I think the first eight minutes or so was definitely a standout with Lacan, Wild Out, um, Mal Mal's mother. I thought that was brilliant. And the natural conclusion to that, I was hoping that would be the case. I was a bit worried when he when it was just by, it seemed, it seemed that he was going to buy someone random. Uh, but I'm glad he uh, ended up picking up on those little hints from Mal Mal. Love this stuff at the end here with Jinchi, but again, my, my standout probably that dance from Mau Mau. Honestly, I thought that was absolutely fantastic. So smooth and beautifully animated. And um, again, you really just like, you don't understand what the words say whatsoever. Maybe I picked up a few words here and there, but um, you just get you just get the feel. The, it, it comes across with the feeling of the song, doesn't it? What, what is kind of meant in that. Uh, but yeah, fantastic final episode. And again, absolutely can't wait for season two, which like I said, isn't even too far away. 2025, earliest obviously early 2025 but even late 2025 is not actually that far away so i'm uh, super excited for that uh, do let me know you guys thought about this finale down in the comment section though um overall probably one of my favorite ever shows definitely one definitely one of my favorite ever shows i watched on the channel but in general one of my favorite shows this very much challenging to get them to my top 10 i don't really think about stuff like that like what what is in my top 10 or whatever daily if if, if i've got to like think about it i will but um yeah this is definitely one of my favorite shows i've ever watched the mystery again the animation the characters especially and their interactions are just brilliantly done so yeah, can't wait for season two uh, again let me know what you guys thought of this episode and the uh, the rest of the season down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys said like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date i'll be back um when season two comes out so see you guys then and enjoy the rest of your day